Welcome back to Local 10645. Right now, Hurricane Ian displaced so many people wiping out their houses, businesses. But the major storm also destroyed many animal habitats and homes, too. So this morning, I'm taking you to the South Florida Wildlife Center in Broward County that is now housing and rehabilitating rescuing West Coast residents. In our pelican habitat, we're currently housing many of the pelicans that were brought to us from the West Coast. Mary Angelique Diaz gives us a tour of a very packed South Florida Wildlife Center. We're busy ourselves. We're still um, intaking quite a few animals from our side of, of Florida on a regular basis. So bringing in these animals um, is definitely extra work. From pelicans to owls to baby squirrels. An extra three dozen animals were brought here to be cared for, rehabbed, and eventually released healthy, like this peregrine falcon. The radius ulna was fractured in several places. Receiving around-the-clock care. And we think that she's going to be able to regain flight based on how it is healing. Depending on the extent of the injuries, temporary care here could last hours, days, weeks, or even months. It's, it's kind of a constant shifting and moving of patients around. Many of these munchkins were evacuated ahead of the storm from a West Coast Wildlife Center. Some, like this tortoise, were found after Ian, and some sadly would not survive the hurricane. But it's all about rebuilding the future for these little lives. Just like our neighbors to the Southwest that are rebuilding their lives and their homes, well, so are these animals here, and they'll have to go back to the West Coast to be released. But guess what? Many of these little guys come in as babies, so they're already officially South Florida residents, and they're living with us here on the East Coast. It's really the adult animals that we worry the most about because they're, they're gonna want a home. They're gonna wanna get back to the areas of which they've established their territory. Some of these younger animals don't have established territories yet. So we can rehabilitate them here and release them within our, our, our coast. Like this seagull release right here that took place on Hollywood Beach instead of Sanibel. Just one of many lives saved among so much devastation. Every species needs something special. So it just warms my heart that we're able to reach out that olive branch and to help them out and to be able to um, give these animals a second chance. If you'd like to know more about what the South Florida Wildlife Center is doing for animals in our community and elsewhere, go to local10.com. We have a link set up for you. You can learn more about volunteering and helping with their cause. And as Julie knows, I did this story because tomorrow is the one month anniversary of Hurricane Ian. So I wanted yeah. to show exactly what we're doing here in South Florida to help the animals for our neighbors on the West Coast. Absolutely.